Welcome to the Nerdlyhood 5-Minute Reviews. This episode is on Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition. We'll get right into it with aesthetics and theming. Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition fits well in the Eldritch series and in the Lovecraft genre. The character backgrounds, scenarios, and general theming is very well done. The cards and maps are well colored and well drawn. All in all, we give this category a 4.5 out of 5. Next up is component quality. For the most part, this game has really good components. The mat tiles are made of a high quality cardboard, the cards are smooth and easy to shuffle and don't seem to bend very well. However, there was a couple things that made it lose points. First off, the monster tiles that fit into the bases sometimes are hard to put in and take out. This could lead to damaging the tiles and generally it's just difficult to do. Another thing with these monsters is that they don't always fit onto the bases properly. It might be better just to keep them glued in, however, sometimes you need to change around the bases, there may not be enough for however many monsters you need. So that lost a little points in this. We also had a bit of problems with the app. It was generally really well done, however we did find the UI display to be a little bit small, which sometimes led to us hitting confirm before we put in the numbers for our skill tests, leading us to fail something that we really should have passed. All in all, the minis are made from a good quality plastic, the cards themselves are good, the floor tiles themselves are good. As said before, in aesthetics, it is well colored, and, and generally the pieces are all good. So we give this one a 4 out of 5. Next up is rules. This is how well the rules explain how to play the game. If you've played the first edition of Mansions of Madness, this will be pretty easy to pick up. Even if you haven't, the rules are very easy to follow. It comes with a rules reference book that is very easy to look through and find exactly what your problem is and figure out the solution to it. However, we did find that the app could use some additional rules in it itself. Instead of having to always look up the rules in the book, you could have had some sort of information question mark or something in the app that you could click for any sort of rule clarification. But since it is all in the rules reference, that isn't necessarily needed. And we ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5. Next is the difficulty to learn. This goes from a scale of 1 being something like Mousetrap and 5 being something like Game of Thrones the board game where a lot of people have trouble going through all the rules. We gave this a 3. It's simplistic enough that almost anyone can learn it, however it will require you occasionally looking up rules in the rule reference book. But all in all, if you have somebody who's good with reading the rules, it's a good game for anyone. Well, maybe not small children as it is still an eldritch horror game. And last, our final rating and thoughts. All in all, we really like this game. We liked how it was randomized throughout the app, so even though there are currently only four scenarios, each time you play them can be completely different. It's easy to set up, especially compared to the first edition of the game. It's challenging, but not impossible. We've played a few times, and we've won about half of them. It has a variety of scenarios that can last anywhere from the fastest one being about 60 minutes to the longest one being about six hours so it can fit in any time of the day if you have a whole day for it or if you only just want to play it one scenario for a little while for optimal play we suggest around three to four players for anyone who has an eldritch horror collection likes the original mansions of madness and who likes how fantasy flight is going with having companion apps to their games will probably really like this game if you do have trouble with apps, it is very simple to use. It's an easy enough download, the app is free, and it does randomize the game and allow everyone to play, where the first one you had to have a dungeon master. So, all in all, we give this game a 4.5 out of 5. Thanks for watching this video. If you would like to hear the full review of Matches of Madness 2nd Edition, click here. Leave a comment of what game you would like us to review next. Thank you for watching.